Store-bought roasted peppers are okay, but they are so easy to do at home. We are going to roast these peppers, turn them into the best ever condiment. Let's do it. Me and my peppers going on a walk. So I'm gonna show you the two easy ways to do this. You can do this in the oven or the stove tops. For the oven, you need yourself a nice sheet pan. Arrange your peppers. My oven is at 450 degrees. So we're gonna leave our bell peppers in the oven for 40 minutes, but we're gonna check on them every few minutes and turn them around so that they get nice and charred on all angles. In the meantime, let me show you the stovetop method. If you're gonna do the stovetop method, you need two things, a gas stove and a piece of foil paper to kind of wrap around so that it's not too messy. Medium highish heat. Put your bell pepper directly on the heat source. And watch the magic. What you're looking for is for the peppers to char all over and for them to soften somewhat. So they may actually collapse a little bit and that's exactly what you're looking for. Now if you want to grill your peppers and you don't have a gas stove, you can do this very same thing on an outdoor gas grill. Keep turning. It's gonna feel like nothing is happening for a while and then all of a sudden it's gonna happen, so watch for it. And trust me, it's so worth it. They need to feel nice and squishy. They're getting there. If you need to manage your heat, turn it down to medium if the skin is too charred but the bell peppers are not soft enough. You want to make sure that they cook well on all sides. Now make sure you're doing this from a safe distance and use a pair of tongs. They're getting there. They're softening. There's some charring. These will be good in a few more minutes. These are ready to come off the stovetop. Grab and put them in a heat safe bowl. Real fast, we're gonna cover this bowl to trap the steam. And in steaming our bell peppers, they will be easy to peel. The same with the ones in the oven. So it doesn't matter what method you follow to roast the peppers, you still have to steam them so that you can peel them. Leave them right here for 15 minutes. All right, step three, peel your roasted bell peppers. I'm gonna start with the ones I did on the stove top because they've been sitting here nicely steaming. All right, here you go. This is a messy situation, but it's so worth it. They are cool enough to handle and the peel slides right off. So easy. It's easier to handle from the stem. And if some does not slide off and you end up with a few charred pieces, not a bad thing, my friend. This bell pepper has a nice hole in it. That's because I need it to drain all the liquid. Make sure you do this when they are cool enough to handle. Don't hurt yourself. Now we're gonna seed and slice. So cut it in half. Hopefully you drained all the liquid and it should be easy to cut right around the stem. Here you go. Thank you for coming. Go around and clean any extra seed that you see. Should be beautiful and clean. Gold, all right, slice, slice. And these beautiful strips can do a good number on your next sandwich, I'm just saying. It's a messy situation, but it's so worth it. A glorious mess. Grab yourself a jar. You're gonna grab yourself some delicious extra virgin olive oil. I like a more peppery, robust olive oil for this sort of thing. Some happy times await you. Some sliced garlic goes right in. A dash of kosher salt. If you like, a dash of red pepper flakes. You don't mind the heat. Go ahead and put your beautiful roasted red peppers in. Give them a little shake. And here you go. 
pour some more extra virgin olive oil all the way to the top to cover your gorgeous bell peppers. What you are looking for is to make sure that you cover all the way up to the very top layer, which will seal your beautiful roasted red peppers. All you need to do now is just cover these babies up and let them marinate in the fridge. Thank me later, but this is going to be a condiment you will go back to over and over, you guys. I use these on sandwiches, I put them on my salads, and I love to serve my roasted bell peppers in a simple platter with burrata cheese as an appetizer. If you're looking for more jazzy Mediterranean condiments, make sure you check out my video for how to make preserved lemons. For the roasted pepper recipe, head over to the MediterraneanDish.com. I will see you later. Ciao.